Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a All right, so let's go ahead. I'm back showing you the actual mount to the helmet. So I actually just put it on there with the waterproof housing. But I don't know if I like the waterproof housing on there because as you can see with the waterproof housing on there, the camera is actually sideways. And I don't know if that's going to work out for me. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can leave me some suggestions in the comments as far as if I can like flip the video or if it'll record like straight up. But if it records sideways, then what's the point of it being on my helmet that way? And the actual camera itself doesn't do that. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and take the waterproof housing off and show you what the camera looks like mounted to the helmet just standardly by itself. So bear with me so I can get this off. I don't know how the motor vloggers do this, just holding things in their hands. So give me one second, I'll just be right back. All right, so I got that off. Let's go ahead and take the camera out. So basically all you do is you screw it off. And you don't have to worry about it actually being loose or anything like that because you can adjust the camera the way you need to since the mount is flexible and adjustable. So it doesn't matter if you, you know, twist it out of shape or anything like that. So see the camera goes ahead and see the mounts here on the side. What you do is you just stick this in here. Let's get it. Let's see if I can do it without moving the camera too much. This is actually quite hard. All right. That's the wrong, wrong one. Uh, get on the camera. All right. So spin it on around so you guys can see it. All right, that's what it looks like mounted normally. So a lot of people are probably gonna think that this looks like the ghost drift or the drift ghost, which it kind of does in the similarity as far as the shape of the camera. But from my understanding, this camera is supposed to have 10 times better quality than the drift ghost S. So we're gonna see about that on Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday here in Atlanta. It's supposed to be around 40 something degrees outside. You know, I typically don't like to ride in anything less than 50. I mean, I would get out there in 40 something degrees for you guys, but it's just not worth it as far as the tires being cold. Not that it's too cold for me. I just don't like to take the risk on the bike with the tires being cold. So I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody and I'm not on a racetrack. This isn't the Isle of Man TT. So I'll just wait until Saturday. So look for the video Saturday of the actual footage from the camera. So we're definitely going to get into some more in-depth reviews of the actual use of the camera and the actual quality of the audio since it doesn't have an external microphone jack as well as the actual video and image, image quality. I'm really excited to use this, guys. I'm really excited to post the next video. And the next video, like I say, it will be the actual video footage from the JVC Addiction. So... All right, post some comments in the section below if you have any questions or anything you want answered in the next video, and I'll try to get those answered. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Hopefully, I mounted it correctly and it doesn't fall off while I'm riding. But we will see this coming Saturday. So that's all I have for you right now. This is going to be the part the second part of part two of a three-part series of this JVC addiction camera. So you guys stay tuned.